morning guys welcome to copy chat mm. well guys i am out here in studio city california and i'll tell you what it is an absolutely gorgeous day boy is it ever nice to come out and have this beautiful beautiful weather gorgeous sunshine just amazing well guys i'm sure a lot of you have heard by now of the whole Sam Bankman freed and that he has been found guilty on every single charge that was laid against him. And in fact, is facing up to what? Almost a hundred years potentially behind bars. And I guess the sentencing phase isn't gonna happen until like March, somewhere in there. They go around the end of March. But needless to say, this whole saga of the whole FDX deal, and now that it's all winding down, and all that has transpired, guys, there are so many people, as far as I'm concerned, that have got dirt on their hands with respect to this, including a lot of the people that receive some big time donations out of SBF and stuff like that. So I, I think it's kind of unfair, really, in a way, not to say that he doesn't deserve to absolutely face the music. But to think about getting all of the blame laid on the shoulders of just one guy, come on, you know that this wasn't perpetrated by just one guy and everybody else is out there making a plea deals and this and this and that and on and on so that they can limit the amount of, you know, you know, culpability or exposure to any kind of like punitive penalties that they might have to deal with. Meanwhile, they're going to roast this guy now over an open flame. And I know hey, a lot of people got hurt. And I'm sure there's not too much sympathy out there for SBF with the arrogant attitude that this guy had way before he even got, you know, taken down the way that he did. And I'm telling you, the whole thing, though, to me, stinks to the high heavens. Because here you had SBF meeting up with Gary Gensler there. And yet, you know, you couldn't even get Gensler to have a meeting and sit down with Garlinghouse or Chris Larson or, you know, David Schwartz or any of that. And so to me, it just, they knew what was going on. Come on, they have these guys, they have, you know, look, there's you know, intelligence officers working for the Securities and Exchange Commission, researching all kinds of stuff. And I, I kind of suspect that they knew what was going on with FTX before the whole thing was absolutely coming, crumbling down. And they were getting ready to build a case, no doubt about it. And yet, was there any fair warning to you and I, the retail investors in that whole deal, when they're out there supposed to be you know supporting us no guys they let him operate hey outside of the country and issue the fdx token if that was ever a security i don't know what was but that seemed to be okay meanwhile they're crushing down on you know our domestic at home you know folks like ripple and stuff like that and everything and so guys to me yes f sbf definitely needs to face some music to be sure but boy i think there's a whole lot of other people on that list that should be paying the piper just as much as what Sam Bankman Freed is. I'll tell you what, wow. In this space, I'm telling you the stuff that goes on and the manipulation is truly mind boggling. It seems to me that, you know, you get Ethereum gets a free pass. Now listen, we've all heard about the disguised whales going in there and buying it up and literally you know, you're hearing all the stuff where they were able to go in and utilize, you know, different email addresses and this and this and that. And they were definitely buying it pre, you know, um, you know, ICO basically is what was going on in the ICO there. And of course, you know, capitalizing big time on it and stuff like that. An absolute securities offering by total definition. And yet what happened? Wow, Bill Hinman comes out there, big time free pass. They get off, you know, and for you and they just wow skyrocket like crazy because remember hey ethereum started out at seven eight bucks in one year it was over fourteen hundred dollars of course in 2020 drops down to like that you know 180 190 bucks 2021 shoots off to over four thousand and some dollars and even now it's sitting well over 1500 and this is the deal guys you see that you know these players are definitely picking winners and losers in this space and sometimes i think it's not that they necessarily started the fire you know over there at fdx but i think they let it just go on and on a rage war because they knew when this whole house of cards comes crashing down boy it'll be our excuse to go out there never let a good crisis go to waste 
and we can use that for all the enforcement stuff that we want to bring down on this space and it'll be a perfect example so we're just going to let the balloon just blow up blow up blow up as big as it needs to be before we absolutely let it burst sometimes guys i think that's what goes on and of course last day Jay Clayton is the commissioner for the SEC. What happens? He walks out the door, drops a lawsuit on Ripple, and all the folks, most of the folks that were involved in making that decision, they went out the door with them. And of course, you know, another group comes in where they're going to now push the whole envelope. And, you know, thank goodness for the, the resolve and the and the financial ability that ripple had to really fight this case because guys if they had a rolled over then you could have kissed your xrp absolutely goodbye because literally they were going after xrp in and of itself as a security and of course now we know because of this case being fought by ripple that xrp is not a security and in fact pro the the aftermarket secondary sales they also were not deemed to be securities now they've dropped the whole deal of course as we know against brad garlinghouse and chris larson and all that and we're into the settlement phase and guys i think we are going to get a settlement and probably before the end of december but for sure i think before we ever get into this next you know by by january february next year but something big is going to go down this month i really do feel that in my in my gut now i could be wrong to be sure but that's just what i believe based on all the events that are going on but when you get news like this about this whole deal now with ftx and of course sbf getting you know found guilty on everything like that you gotta start peeling back the onion and say okay how did this happen it's not just a closed book i think we need to go back and start you know going back through the pages and really looking into it and how heavily other people were involved because of course guys we don't want to be in this same boat down the road again do we but this is what seems to happen and all these kind of things just at the perfect time it seems as well wow and guys it won't surprise me there will be some other deal going down hey who knows the big big one of course that a lot of people have talked about for a long long time is the whole tether deal and how that has been tied you know to the price of bitcoin and whether or not that whole system is going to fall apart well guys i'll tell you if it does be prepared for it that shock and awe i'm telling you would not surprise me if they start pulling some pins in other areas as well because that just seems to be the way this market plays i've seen it happen you've seen it happen time and again all this kind of stuff going down that is for sure well, guys, I'll tell you what, I sure hope you're having an amazing Friday. And tomorrow, we're going to have our Saturday question and answer. And of course, on Sunday, we're going to have our sugar on Sunday. And we've got a great video planned for you later on today. And until then, guys, I sure hope you have an absolutely fantastic one. Hey, and guys, put your opinion and your comment, your thoughts down in the comment section there about what you see in this space when it comes to this whole, you know, SBF and the Ethereum free pass and all that kind of stuff. Because because I'll tell you, this is a major, major deal that we all should have some sort of ideas about what's going on. Because, listen, this is affecting us all in a big, powerful way. But I'll tell you what, until later on today when we have an amazing video for you, have a great one and take care.